How you doing? I want to talk real quick about Bitfinex. Bitfinex recently had 30% of assets taken from customers. That's a big red flag. That said, I think Bitfinex has a lot of strengths, so I continue to play around with it. Bitfinex is canceling U.S. customers' ability to utilize the platform starting November 9th. Red flag number two. That's not necessarily a red flag. That's just a risk associated with continuing to utilize the platform as a U.S.-based customer. Is there a workaround? The answer is yes. I believe there are some risks associated with it. But I'm going to talk you and walk you through it anyway. So here we have Tor Browser, T-O-R Browser. You can simply go to uh, any of you, whatever browser you use right now, Google search Tor Browser, download it, install it to your computer, start utilizing it. Now there's a .onion URL that Bitfinex allows you to utilize. I've already copied and pasted that, and we're getting ready to go through the steps of utilizing it. Once we log into Bitfinex, I'll show you how to access that URL. So first, I'm going to go to my bookmarks. I'm going to choose Bitfinex. It's going to populate the .onion URL, which is this crazy URL up here, Bitfinex4ietak3t.onion. It's going to bring us to this screen here. Uh, your connection is not secure, etc., etc. So it's a security issue, security warning. Click Advanced, Add Exception. You'll come to this screen. You'll notice here, Permanently Store This Exception is not available to be checked. We want to be able to permanently store it because we don't want to have to go through this step every single time, right? What you have to do is go here to Tor Browser, Preferences, Privacy, and uncheck Always Use Private Browsing Mode. That's going to make you restart your Tor Browser. So let's let that restart, establish a connection. We're back. All right, so now we are out of private mode. I'm going to enlarge it back again. Go back to Bitfinex. And it should populate the same security warning. There we go. Advanced, add exception. Now we can check that box. Permanently store this exception and then hit confirm security exception. So now we're good to go going forward with regard to logging into Bitfinex. Next you want to make sure you go up here temporary allow all scripts on this page. You're gonna to have to do that every time. That's going to let us load up Bitfinex and just before I forget to remind you you know really the next step is to go back to Tor Browser preferences privacy and then check always use private browsing mode and then relaunch Bitfinex but I'm gonna skip that step just to save a little time here so we're loading up the URL there we go and now it's time to log in I'm gonna log in and I'll be right back alright we are back I have now logged into Bitfinex with my email, password, and two-factor authentication. So the next step is to go over here to the far right and go to security. And you'll notice here on the Tor browser things do move quite a bit slower. Uh, it's just, you know, part of the game. I'm assuming it'll, it'll get quicker with time. Then you go down here to session. So security, then session, and this top one, Allow Onion Logins. Bitfinex now offers a Tor domain. So here's the URL I was telling you about, that dot .onion URL. Copy that. Enable this option if you wish to allow logins to your account on this domain. So you enable that. It's default set to off. You simply turn it on. Copy this URL. Download the Tor browser. Follow the steps we took at the beginning of this video. And in theory, you should be good to go utilizing Bitfinex with 
or as a U.S. account. Now you have to make sure that when you and originally, you know, if if you already have a Bitfinex account and you aren't just opening it for the very first time, you have to make sure that you haven't already done this verification process, which was mandatory in order to, you know, send and receive U.S. dollars from your Bitfinex account to and from. So as long as you haven't done this verification, um, you sh you know you should be good to go. Just make sure you never log in any way other than this Tor browser .onion URL. There's also a little pop-up that has popped up on my screen once or twice that says, are you a US citizen? And I said no, because I don't want to flag my account as you know potentially being US related account. So keep that in mind as well if you're if you're just starting to utilize Bitfinex. Lastly, there's still risks here. You know, if if somehow you slip up or they figure out that you're actually a US account, um, they will likely be obligated to just freeze your account, which means your money's gone. So there's still certain risks associated with utilizing Bitfinex as a US individual. But if you really want to continue utilizing Bitfinex, then this is a potential workaround that does have risks associated with it. Why would you want to even risk it? Well, they do offer, you know, a lot of good stuff. They were, you know, one of the few that allowed this Bitcoin Bitcoin gold trading right away. Um, I really like their funding options. You know, Bitcoin has a has a great funding market here on Bitfinex. It's very liquid. I've utilized it many times. I've also utilized the Ethereum funding. You know, I mean, it's and, and it's it's a great interface. I mean, honestly, they did a really good job with this interface. I've been using Thinkorswim for trading equities and options for years, and this really reminds me of that that style of software. Um, and I've noticed that they've already improved it quite a bit while I've been using it for the last four or five months. Uh, three, well, probably about three months. So I do really like the interface. I respect their efforts here. I don't respect the fact that they haven't refunded 30% assets that were hacked. But you know, this is kind of the wild, wild west right now. So that's just the risk of keeping your funds on a centralized exchange instead of in a local wallet or a hardware wallet. So anyway, here's your workaround. It has risks associated with it. Proceed with caution. I just kind of wanted to share the steps in case this is something that you decide you want to do.